hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create custom short codes in wordpress so first of all why we need a short code so basically short code is the way of presentation of dynamic things uh, using custom editor uh, sorry wordpress editor uh, for example if you are adding a post and in that post you want to display a list of posts so you might not want to add that each title of post like this title 1 then title 2 and give it a link instead of doing that we can we can display it uh, dynamically using short code so short codes are used in editor only for example uh, if I want to display list of posts in the content for example and after that I can write down a short code which will display that list of posts and if I save this and if we view post so currently it is displaying this text because we haven't added this short code yet so now we will add this short code which will display a list of post so let's jump into the code now I'll be uh, continuing my custom plugin which we are using since the beginning and if you are new to this video then you should watch my previous video where I have showed you how to create a custom plugin and link is coming into the top right corner of the YouTube video so now uh, let me add a new file so I'll be adding a new file I'll give name it shortcodes.php into the includes so in the includes I will create and save this file okay uh, now how to add a shortcut so here is the function which is used to add a new shortcut so we will add this function add shortcut over here and it has two arguments one is the tag tag means whatever the identifier we want to add as a shortcut that is the tag so we will add this tag over here oops and another one is the callback function so this function will be triggered when uh, the short code is there in the editor first let me show you by going something so it should display this text instead of this post list so as you can see it is displaying something and uh, we need to 
I think we don't need to echo, we need to return, sorry. Return. Yeah. So we need to return whatever we want in this shortcode. And this shortcode has a one argument which is the attribute. Now let me show you what is attribute. I will print this attribute first. So attribute is the list of argument which we pass from here. So let's say we want to display particular number of posts. So we can pass one argument that uh, number equal to 5. So number will become sorry something is wrong. Okay, value should be like this. Okay, sorry. I have to comment this first and then save and now I will print R this attribute so as you can see it will display the array of attributes and you can pass as many as you want as of now I will add okay one more post type I will pass the post type as well which will be the post oh shit again now it's been updated let me refresh this page so whatever attribute you pass in the shortcode you will get uh, in that function so now let me type a loop for fetching the uh, list of post so this is predefined shortcode I mean predefined wording for write down the loop in my editor I have created a separate video for that how to do this means let me show you again if I write down this WP query so I have predefined whenever I type WP query it will print this kind of uh, loop so basically what this is doing it is fetching the post uh, 10 post and printing their uh, title into the loop now let's try to uh, refresh the page without applying our attribute it, it should display the 10 post I'm not sure I have 10 post or not okay I have only two let me quickly let me check if i can add quickly add okay uh, maybe i can use wpcli just a second wp post generate okay i will generate 100 post So this is basically adding 100 post on my site. Let's see. So yeah, it has added 102. So yeah, sorry. So if I refresh this, so it is displaying the 10 post and then let's try to apply our attribute so first print the attribute 
so uh, we want to display five post which uh, is which is post type is post so let's try to add our okay let me add a variable So we will be taking values if it is set otherwise we will get we will have a default also post type and if we don't pass post type take default post type as post And I will comment this and now it should uh, print five post so let's refresh this okay it displays only one why okay I did not pass this variable over here sorry and uh, for post type So it is displaying five post. Now let's make it three. And uh, oops, again something is wrong. Okay, yeah, we need to return instead of printing. So let me do something. Ob start. And then return we get clean so by doing this uh, you can you can uh, you can house everything e code in this particular function which will return uh, through this uh, function so again update okay now let's refresh this it should display three yeah let's see if we have another post type books post type is book let's check the slug yeah book so i will change to book over here so now it should display three books okay there is no book over here let's add uh, I don't know how to add let's try this way okay it is adding something I hope it has added into this books yep so yeah we have 100 books as well so let's refresh this and yeah we have 100 books select post select post one two so yeah this is how um, you can add your own short code and uh, yeah please let me know if you if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section and i will share all the links reference links into the description section thanks for watching the video where you can get this code so on github uh, i have added this custom plugin over here and as this is a uh, tutorial 23 so i have separate out this branches based on our tutorial i don't have the previous one but i have started from 19 
so this is the tutorial 23 so you need to go to tutorial 23 and we have added the code as you saw in the video into the shortcodes.php so from here you can have your code thanks for watching